Let's kick things off this hour, though, with Jimmy Lee. He is the group CEO of the Wealth Consulting Group, and he joins us today to walk us through the market moves. And Jimmy, it's always good to talk to you. Um, you know, we saw the retail sales numbers. That's certainly helping improve investor sentiment right now. But what do you make of the market move so far, especially coming on the back of those declines we've saw for the for three straight days? Uh, good afternoon, Kiko. And I think that uh, the declines that we saw after such a big run up in stocks, you know, since the lows in March um, are not something that uh, many investors like myself uh, were surprised with. So a little bit of a pullback from those highs, I think, was expected. And now that we're rallying a little bit, uh, you know, with some good economic data, as you suggested uh, earlier today with the retail numbers, uh, consumers are such a big part of the U.S. economy. Uh, two thirds or more, and that the fact that consumers are spending and, and retail is good is a great sign for the economy. So I think while I'm, I'm uh, optimistic and bullish about stocks can setting new highs, maybe in the near future, I think investors should be expecting more volatility as we lead up to the election here. What you read though, when you look at uh, the big uptick we saw in those retail sales numbers in September, in terms of the momentum that we have with the economic recovery right now. Yeah, as you know, I, I, I'm very bullish on the American consumer and on the op, I'm very optimistic that uh, once we do get a vaccine, and I believe that we'll get a vaccine maybe uh, a little sooner than a lot of the pessimists believe, but when we do get a vaccine, I think that, it, that Americans are going to spend a lot. And uh, we're already seeing it in, in a lot of uh, sectors such as housing. And uh, today we saw uh, you know, strong across the board, a little bit of a pullback in electronics and appliances. But uh, I think consumers are very strong here in the U.S. This comes off the heels of record savings numbers after the pandemic started. So there's, there's money in the banks and consumers are spending and it's not surprising to me. Let's talk about the earnings uh, picture. It seems to be sort of uh, overshadowed by so much that has been happening in Washington, but particularly as it relates to financials, because we got some big numbers there uh, this week that seems to point to some improvement when you look at something like the loan loss provisions uh, going down. Um, we're seeing financials now up about three tenths of a percent as a sector. I mean, when you look at the numbers we got out in that sector, was there anything that surprised you? Um, you know, I think for many people, uh, uh, you know, how strong the consumer has been with as many people that are unemployed is a little bit surprising, but uh, I've been a little bit bullish on that side. And I think that people should own financials, even with interest rates being so low and uh, and probably going to stay low for, for the, the time being. And while that puts a lot of pressure on financials, banks, insurers, I think that, you know, consumers are going to borrow more. And, and on the other side of that equation is you have a, a lot of uh, home sales numbers and and that sector doing very well because of interest rates staying so low and people can afford, you know, bigger, bigger houses that cost more because the payments are lower because interest rates are low. And so I think you have a balancing effect there. And I think that you're going to see borrowing activity increase. And as you've seen, commercial banks that uh, do the lending, their loan loss reserves uh, have not been as bad as potentially expected. And so those are all good signs for the economy. What about the, some some of the more beaten down stocks? We saw United Airlines and Delta report this week. Uh, certainly, this is an area that has really struggled as a result of travelers just pulling back their plans. Um, but does is there an opportunity here, just given how far they have dropped, uh, for investors to potentially get in on the lows? Yeah, I agree with that sentiment. Um, I actually think that obviously airlines need some support right now. And we're, we're at a time in the economy where without another stimulus package, hopefully soon, either pre or, or hopefully very soon after the election, I think certain industries like airlines are going to continue to have to lay off more people. But I've been traveling a little bit for work and other reasons, and the airports are much busier than before. I think people are not as scared to travel as they, as they were in the summer. And so I think that industry will pick up and along with with, you know, airline industry is also travel leisure. I think there are sectors uh, like that that have a lot of opportunity for upside for investors. And as I've been saying for a while on your show here, having a balance between the value sectors and the most beaten up sectors due to the coronavirus pandemic, um, I think investors need to have enough money there along with their growth stocks and their technology stocks. 
you've got on the one hand, uh, companies reporting their earnings, and then yet you've also got this big uncertainty around politics, whether it is the stimulus bill right now or the outcome of the election. How are you advising your clients right now about how to weigh these options or the risks right now? Do you stick to fundamentals and look at these companies and sort of put all the noise aside from the election? Or is that risk at the end of the day still outweighing the fundamentals? I think it's a former. I think you need to stick to the fundamentals. Uh, statistics show since 1977, according to FactSet, that stocks perform best under a split Congress. In fact, they perform worse when you have the White House and Congress united. And so there's a good chance that even if there's a change in the White House, that Republicans keep the Senate. But uh, in any regard, I think that post uh, election, you're going to see some more stimulus. And I think the American consumer is going to spend. And I think in the long run, you have to put politics aside. And, and while there is a proposition of taxes going higher under a Democrat controlled Senate uh, you know, or, or House and Senate and, and the White House, that even during those times, if you look at the uh, early years of the Obama presidency, you know, stocks did OK. And so I think investors need to calm down a bit, look at the fundamentals, look at earnings and, and weigh certain sectors that might do better, depending on what the political climate might be. So those are all things that uh, we're looking at and, and positioning our clients ahead of. Having said that, Jimmy, um, we're still looking at the stimulus and, and I'm curious how big of a catalyst you think that's going to be. And I feel like this is a conversation that we have had multiple times over the last several months. At the end of the day, is it enough to get some kind of deal or are investors still really looking at a full package here instead of what the Republicans have called this targeted approach, a relief for airlines, uh, a little more uh, money for testing? You know, what exactly is going to be the catalyst that, that pushes the market higher? Well, I think it's going to be the people that are still unemployed. And uh, I think the politicians are, are under a lot of pressure to create more stimulus. And I think we will get one. The size of the stimulus, I'm not sure. I know that the Senate Republicans are you know, trying to, to lower that number to, 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 the, to the point where they think it's fiscally responsible. And I don't like that either. But there are a lot of people unemployed. The, my home state, Nevada, where we have a lot of hotels and restaurants, there are so many thousands of people that are unemployed, can't put food on the table. So we need some help here. And we're, and we're really close, in my opinion, to a vaccine that I think will allow you know, uh, politicians to open up their states. And so depending on where you live, you either live in a state where it's pretty open and like it used to be or not and very close still. And so I think some of that I'm hopeful that will end after the election here in November. But uh, I think we do need a stimulus. And I think the politicians, hopefully, um, we can have confidence in that they can come together and create a package that'll be a nice bridge to when we get to until we get a vaccine and the economy really opens back up. But when the economy does open up, I do believe that consumers will spend. And I think the economy is going to recover pretty nicely. Yeah, well, let's hope that the next time we talk, Jimmy, there will be some kind of stimulus to talk about. <laughs> Hopefully there is a deal in place by then. Uh, Jimmy Lee, always good to talk to you. He's the CEO of the Wealth Consulting Group. Can't wait. Thank you.